It's been shown through research that there are two important factors that predict a child with hearing loss will be successful. Successful means catching up and keeping up in speech and language with children who do not have hearing loss. So what are these two ingredients to success for your child? The first ingredient is hearing aids. Hearing aids on early in life, worn all day long. The second ingredient is even more important. Listen, research tells us the key ingredient necessary for your child to keep up or catch up in language by kindergarten is parent involvement. When it comes to helping your child to succeed, the magic ingredient is you. The more involved a parent is, the more successful a child will be, period. Remember that when we talk about helping your child to learn through listening, it's really about growing the language brain. Let's set a goal for your child to keep up or catch up in speech and language by the time he enters kindergarten. Is it possible? Research tells us yes, but it's only likely if hearing aids are on early in life all day long and parents are very involved in treatment. Remember that listening to more language makes more language growth happen. The more you and your child talk, the further you will get. So, how far do you need to go by the time your child is five years old? Let's think about a five-year-old's height. We know that some children are taller than average in kindergarten, and some are shorter. And within a range, that's expected. It's also usual to have a range of language skills. Let's say the average five-year-old has language at this level. Some kids will be higher, and some will be lower. Imagine this range represents typical language ability in kindergarten. The classroom is set up for this range. The teacher adjusts her language so that children who are five can understand. For sure, the teacher down the hall in the third grade classroom is using higher vocabulary, less repetition, faster speech, and less show and more tell. But in kindergarten, the teacher is careful to talk to the class in a way that most will have no problem at all. So, most kids in kindergarten will do okay and learn as the teacher presents the information. In this way, their language and knowledge grows, and they are at some point strong enough in language skills to enter that third grade classroom down the hall. But what if a child in kindergarten and their language level is here? That child will struggle and getting only to this level might be a typical result for a child whose family is not very involved in treatment. Or, even if the family is only average in the way they participate, research has shown that if a parent is very involved in their child's treatment, a child who has hearing loss will on average reach here instead by age five. These parents participated in sessions with a speech-language pathologist. These parents took what they learned and were strong and constant language models for their child. With your continued input, your child could continue to keep pace with, catch up with, and even surpass the other children in the class. Often parents make an early mistake in the way they view speech and language sessions that puts them off track. They see the hours spent with a speech-language pathologist as the key to progress. The quality of language within an hour like this is high. That's true. There is rich vocabulary, conversational turns, and things that are so, so very interesting to hear and to talk about. The speech-language pathologist has spent a lot of time learning strategies to help make this hour very language-rich. But here is why a language-rich hour alone can't help you get where you and your child need to go. Here's the hour a speech-language pathologist spends with your child. Here are the hours your child spends with you and with others until the next weekly session. One or even two language-rich hours a week cannot count towards making your child strong. It's just not enough to maximize language growth. So what do we do? Well, here's what. Use the hour with your speech-language pathologist to learn to make the hours in between those sessions just as rich and just as valuable. When you participate in sessions and treat that session as a way to learn strategies to help your child at home, your week becomes 84 times more powerful 
and all you really need to do is talk more, while playing, while eating, while reading a book. And that's why children who have hearing loss succeed if and only if their parents participate in sessions and are very involved in promoting their child's language development all waking hours. Like food, the better the quality of language, the more your child will grow. That means using a good variety of words. That means taking turns with your child when talking. That means talking about his interests. Your speech language pathologist will be your coach to help you provide high quality language. Unlike food, the more the better. So start talking with your child right now. And treat your session with a speech language pathologist as a trip to the grocery store. That's where you can go each week to get tips and goals, strategies and ideas, activities and games, not to mention lots of ways to engage and talk with your child throughout daily routines to use throughout the week. Next week, both you and your child will be at a higher level, ready for new things to learn. How you use what you take away, that's what really counts. Research tells us that parent involvement in treatment is the recipe for success. So commit to a successful outcome. And remember, in this recipe, the magic ingredient is you.